This is the Thank You Ocean Report. The California coast is some 1,100 miles long, but our coast is next to Oregon, which connects to Washington and all the way up to British Columbia, making a vast area which requires protection, a worthy objective, but quite complex in actual execution. Based on a philosophy of coordinating ocean protection and research, the California Ocean Protection Act was signed into law in 2004, creating the Ocean Protection Council. Today, you'll meet the council's executive director, Catherine Kuhlman. My life's work is to protect water resources in the state of California and the Western Hemisphere. And what I'm doing right now, specifically, is I work on the ocean and work to connect people to the ocean, uh, whether it's the citizens, whether it's you know people who live here, whether it's visitors, whether it's scientists, whether it's the legislature. My job is to connect people to the ocean and to serve the ocean by bringing awareness to its issues and then informing decision making in a way that is wise. The Ocean Protection Council members include the Secretary of Natural Resources, the Secretary of the California EPA, the Comptroller or the Lieutenant Governor, public members, and ex officio members from the legislature. The council comes together to set policy for the state to make sure the agencies that who work on coastal issues are working together and creating a dynamic that really serves the people. I think the legislature in creating the OPC was making a statement that they really wanted the state agencies to work together. As we move into things like climate change and we want to figure out how we're going to protect the coast from climate change and sea level rise, that we really are all going to need to work together to make that happen. The law calls for the Ocean Protection Council to work with the Ocean Science Trust, established through earlier state legislation. The Ocean Science Trust is a nonprofit that provides the science information. So Ocean Protection Council provides policy direction and funding. We give a great deal of money to Ocean Science Trust. They do the science then to help inform decisions that will then help the state agencies, cities, counties make better decisions because they'll have information to inform their decision making. Many state and local agencies charged with making laws or policies affecting the ocean have few research dollars. But the research is happening at the academic and federal levels, and by finding out what research has already been done, the Ocean Protection Council makes it available to local policymakers, enhancing their decision-making while maximizing the council's investment in research. Then the money that we end up spending can be really targeted. We really can choose our targets wisely because we kind of know what everybody else is doing, and we know that the gaps that are there that are important to the people in the state to try to fill. And that's kind of, that's a, a philosophy that just, it, it means moving projects takes a while because there's a lot of front end work, but that's really hugely important. So you get a good project off the ground. And there's also then a lot of work at the end of a project that you need to say, this is what we actually got. Now, how do we make sure everybody uses it? It's absolutely incredibly exciting work to get up in the morning and you know you have that kind of ability to affect and change the world. And it's, it's one of those things that um, I think it's so important for people to remember is how that they as individuals can make a difference, that they can make a difference by working on these kinds of projects, by studying science and math and getting into oceanography, learning about climate change. And so, or you can just be doing something simple as not driving your car as much or picking up trash at the beach. And so these are things that each one of us can do easily in our life that protect the ocean um, and our coastal environment that we all love so much. And my thanks to Catherine Kuhlman, Executive Director of the Ocean Protection Council. I'm Jerry Kay.